Hi everyone, I'm Emma at the Jackson County Public Library and I'm caught in a blizzard. <sighs> it's so cold, everything is snow white. Well, <laughs> while I wait for the snow to die down, now is a good time to do the January Book Roundup. <laughs> January is a great month to stay inside and read. For this month's Book Roundup, we have collected some books about the New Year, about the Chinese New Year, and of course about the cold. <laughs> you might find an old favorite or you might find a new book that you want to try. To check out books from the Jackson County Public Library, you can call to make an appointment or to put books on hold. Thomas's Snowsuit by Robert Munch about a boy who absolutely will not put on his snowsuit. Bunny Slopes by Claudia Ruida. Bunny is going skiing and he wants you to join him, but he gets stuck on a cliff. Can you help Bunny to safety? Over in the Arctic where the cold winds blow by Marion Burkis. Penguin Problems by Jory John about problems in the lives of the penguins. Leave Me Alone by Vera Brosgall about a little old granny who just wants some peace and quiet so she can get her knitting done. The Great Race, Story of the Chinese Zodiac by Christopher Kaur. The Wild Girl by Chris Wormel, about a little girl and her dog who live very happily up way high in a cave in the mountains, but one day they find bear tracks. Grumpy Pants by Claire Messer, about a penguin who's having a terrible, cold, rainy, grumpy day. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Snow Sounds, an onomatopoeic story by David A. Johnson. An onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like what it means. Happy All Year by Keith Baker about all the months of the year starting in January. White Snow, Bright Snow by Alvin Tresselt about the first snowfall of the year. The Runaway Walk by Ying Chang Kompistein about a boy who brings home an empty walk from the market and what are they going to eat? But soon they find out that the walk has a mind of its own. Rabbit's Snow Dance by James and Joseph Brucock about a rabbit who does a traditional Iroquois dance to bring the snow. Jump into January, A Journey Around the Year by Stella Blackstone. Little Owl Snow by Divya Srinivasan about Little Owl who's looking forward to his very first winter. This Next New Year by Janet S. Wong about how great our next year is going to be. It's gonna be great. Bear Needs Help by Sarah S. Brannon. Bear needs help tying his shoes, but all the other animals are afraid of him. If you're looking for something a little longer, we have these suggestions. The Very, Very Far North by Dan Barrell about Dwayne the Polar Bear and all his friends who live at the tip top of the world. May Be by Carolyn Star Rose about May who gets stranded all alone in a sod house in the middle of winter and has to figure out how to survive. Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu, a modern day fairy tale about a girl whose best friend's heart is frozen by a winter witch. How to Survive in the North, a graphic novel by Luke Healy, which is based on a true story about the expeditions of Ada Blackjack and Robert Bartlett. <sighs> I better get back to the library or I'm gonna freeze.